Here is 3100 Mount Pleasant, South Dakota Mount Pleasant in Minnesota. Give you a view of the house. And this is the side of it, looking down Minnesota Avenue, south. Show you the inside. Walk in, the camera will take a second to adjust to the lighting. And there we go. So we got a stairwell going up to the second floor. It's a three-story building. These are the windows right there that currently are framed out from the outside. This is the door. Some electrical outlets hanging out. The floor is some type of tile. Looks like uh, vinyl. Overhead lighting. Got overhead lighting right there. Opportunity. So this is underneath the stairwell here. You cannot access the basement from the interior of the house. So that right there is air duct in the back left corner. Kind of show you some more of this broadened out. Uh, this ceiling looks pretty good. That's probably mold right there. Uh, you got some interesting platform. And then here's a closet. You got air vent right there. Try to move slow with less shaking. So you got a lot of mold right there. This is the only part where it looks like uh, structurally. And I'll show you that from the basement here. So this is a half bath. And take that back. It's a full bath. There, you got the stairwell right there leading from outside. What are the water issues? Kitchen right here, that back door right there. We'll end up going out there to show you the basement. Walking through here, your electrical panel, all important is right here. Try to study that so maybe you can get a good view. Uh, it says 200 amp, and this is kind of what this looks like. Air vent on the floor right there, seeing through. Here's kind of what some of this looks like. So it looks like there's some space between the ceiling and the next floor. All right, I'll take you outside, show the back of the building before we go up to the second and third floor. Take a second for the camera to adjust. So the backyard looks like. Stairwell going down, I'll show you in a second here. Does have the air conditioning unit which is over there take through here show you the back of the building and the basement here's this back go down the steps kind of slow and we've got birds flying out we'll get into the door here and this is kind of what the basement looks like as soon as I get some light on it all right so we got plumbing right here and then this is kind of go slow. I'll walk in here a little bit more. And that's kind of what this looks like. So this is the sub floor right here on that main floor. And it looked like the tub just leaked or the bathtub or some other fun stuff. I don't fall down anywhere. Kind of what that looks like. And give you a view. This is definitely the worst part of the whole house right here. So. Uh, water leaking in from outside because of snow. Got the furnace right here. Duck work. Hot water tank. Uh, obviously both gas. You got the gas meter back here. The old coal chute, which is kind of cool. Uh, and this room is, I'll show you the inside. It's kind of goofy, but it's maybe a former dark room. Who knows? All right. So take you back through the basement. We'll go see the second and third floor. Lock this guy up real quick. All right, got a drain right here. This part looks really good, honestly. Second entrance to the back. Kind of what that looks like. Going back through here. This is my battery's low on my phone. Should wash the dryer hook up. Looks like an alarm system. So that bathroom again with a cell float we just looked at. Uh, so here's kind of what we're looking at. Overhead lighting, wood floors, 
staircase going up to the next floor. And this, I'll show you what this looks like. Just plumbing up above. Got the window. Wall here. Assuming that's all mold. Coming through here. Now there's wood floor here and then some type of overlayment on top of it. Give you a view. Now this is the second story and there's a story directly above us. So here's an interesting closet. Looks like or uh, plywood right there. Got an air vent in the corner. A little bit of water right up there in the ceiling. I would show you the deck, but the deck's right outside that left door there. A little bit of mold back there in that corner. Here's your half bath. Has a little mirror in it. A little window. So this would be the back bedroom, the way the house is set up right now. So the back stairwell, uh, nothing all that special other than I don't see any water damage right there. Coming back through here, got outlet hanging out, show you the ceiling. That's the door we came up through the stairs right there on your left. Beautiful pocket door right here. See if it's functional and it's stuck in there. So that's not happening. Put it back on the track. This is this room right here. It overlooks the stairwell looking down over a lighting and ceiling fan. Those are newer windows, which is nice. The ceiling here looks very good compared to the rest of the house. Small issue on the window sill right here. Shouldn't be that big a deal. And then here's your little closet for this bedroom. Might be able to do something different with that. Take you upstairs to the third floor. And that's where we'll conclude the tour. This is kind of what that looks like looking up. Got a small window here to the left. Maybe put baseboard right there. Little birdie right there. I don't know if you can see that guy. Yep, there he is. All right. So you kind of got two door frames right here. Show the front first. So drop ceiling, some watermarks. They do look damp and just snowed. So probably does need a new roof, but could not tell you that for certain window and then here's this window here's what this looks like somebody probably busted that out to see if they see any water dripping come back into the second bedroom here the ceiling looks really good so the back of the roof may be in good shape there's no way to tell and then here is your last bathroom so somebody tried sticking something on that tub that's what that looks like. And got a little window right there. Nice linen closet right there. And then this will conclude our tour. Thank you.